Hello, I'm Yohan Fouché, I'm product director at Micom OSI, and today I'm going to tell you about the two catalysts, uh, TMF catalysts to which Micom OSI participated today around the theme of 5G in order to connect the Tour de France. So I'm not going to tell you about the second catalyst we participated to on 5G service operations, concentrating on the operational side of uh, disconnected Tour de France. So the story around the Tour de France here is about connecting the different applications around the, uh, the, the immersive uh, digital applications, uh, providing video broadcast, um, where 5G, 5G is used for the connectivity towards uh, drones or bikes, uh, from where the, uh, the different broadcasting of the, the recording of the race uh, is basically delivered towards the broadcasters using 5G connectivity, using dedicated EMBB slice for, uh, for 5K type of video. Then we've got dedicated slice for the drone control, uh, the drones from which the different uh, video recording is taking place. We also have dedicated EMBB slice for the subscribers on the side of the road. And the idea is that 5G network slicing is used in order to guarantee QoS on, specific, uh, on, on these specific slices, but to ensure that we are not degrading QoS on any of the other slices. Some other slice is also used for telemetry data where sensors at the back of, uh, of the riders' bikes uh, are providing information such as cadence, speed, uh, and so on and so on. The scenario on the, uh, the demonstration in the 5G Catalyst was very much around closed loop assurance where um, Micom OSI EA was used to collect data about the whole chain across the telco cloud uh, 5G going from the very low, lower layer uh, virtual machines to the different VNFs and network slices. Measuring the QoS around the different network slices, the idea was degrade, identifying SLA degradations to do some advanced root cause analysis and remediation analysis in order to initiate, remedi well, in order to initiate remediation uh, policies while interacting to the global ONAP policy manager uh, developed by Tech Mahindra which in turn would be initiating some life cycle changes towards the service orchestrator that, uh, that uh, Netcracker was uh, implementing in this catalyst. As a result of that, the Netcracker service orchestrator would initiate some life cycle changes within the network, which we could also monitor from the EA uh, service assurance uh, stack in order to validate the positive or negative impact of the remediation action, therefore closing the loop. Here is a, a, a sequence diagram or an integration flow diagram about the different EA products which were used in this catalyst. We start by the service designer on EA consuming Tosca templates coming from the service orchestrator, providing us a structure of the model on which we could aggregate different KPIs and KQIs uh, about the, the network slice itself on the digital services. The pressure quality manager was used to report on these different uh, SLA degradations and if need be, initiate threshold crossing alerts uh, towards the service impacting engine which could identify what are the impacted services and automate the root cause analysis. As a result of all of this, root cause analysis information as well as service problems could trigger some automation scenarios in order to do some more advanced diagnostics and if need be, initiate some remediation actions which were sent to the ONAP Global Policy Manager. We're not going to go to the product. So this is the service designer where we can see the structure of the network slice, including the Genobi equipments or the mobile edge computing applications or, or our models, so that we can start defining specific measurement collections using TMF628 API as an example. Once these measurements are activated and start taking place, we can then report on the overall QoS about the digital services and the network, uh, the network slices themselves. Once we identify some degradations, we can trigger some um, SLA, uh, S SLA exception notifications, which we will see can be resulting in some life cycle changes from the, uh, from the, the, the service orchestrator. And we're going to see the different chain of, uh, of products. The SLA trigger is sent to the problem manager, allowing to perform some service impacting and root cause analysis. Here we can see the SLA violation being the root cause. And we can see the exact list of impacted, um, 
products, services, or customers, such as here, the, the two broadcasters using the network slices are being impacted. The service problem is then sent to Proactor, the automation engine, in order to do further level of root cause analysis, and if need be, initiating some remediation action here in the form of a policy trigger towards the ONAP policy manager, as we can see here. Here we used an ONAP specific Kafka message bus in order to trigger a closed loop policy, which consequently sent a message towards the, uh, the Netcracker service orchestrator. Once the lifecycle changes are initiated within the network, we can then go back to the quality manager in order to visualize the positive or negative impact of the closed loop in order to close the loop. Thank you.